Puppy time. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, so today is October, September 30th and we actually move tomorrow, but we decided to go look at some puppies because we've been wanting a Great Dane puppy for a really long time. So today's the day because there are some that are available for us to go look at. So we're gonna go look at them. Um, figured I'd bring you guys along to just, maybe we pick one out. We're not getting it today. We're definitely not getting it today. Come here. Maybe in like a few weeks if we see one that we like. My mom's gonna come as well because she wants to look at puppies. Who wouldn't want to do that? Um, and yeah, that's it. I don't know, how do you feel? I'm excited. I'm excited too. Nervous, excited. That was a little bit hard to see. I only had like a little bit of time to take a video, but we definitely, we found one that we loved. Um, it was really hard to pick. We, um, there was like a few that I absolutely loved, but as soon as we got there, my mom came, we were like, literally they, the dogs were coming out and we were like, that's the one. Like we just kind of knew we had a feeling and then we let him like crawl around and see who came to us. And this specific one just kind of stuck out. So we have another week to kind of prepare which is literally not a lot of time because we're moving tomorrow so when you guys see this video we will be moved in with a puppy already which is fucking insane uh i don't know so a lot of work to do a lot of things to get but i just wanted to take you guys along because we're gonna pick him up next week and i'm gonna talk about names and stuff too pat already has a name picked out so i didn't really have uh i had say but i kind of let him have this one because i'm gonna be naming the kids Okay, today was an exciting day because we ended up going to the pet store to get things for Willow who we're picking up on Friday, so two days from now. So you guys on Instagram do not know that this is happening um, because I'm waiting till we get her to say anything, but when you see this a vlog, it'll be after the fact. Um, right now I'm sitting on the bed that we got her. It is absolutely massive. We wanted to get a big one just so that we would have room to grow because obviously she's going to be a big girl um the name i said willow that is her name which you guys already know and i wanted to explain a little bit about that so originally we planned on getting a male a boy a little boy dog um things just ended up like taking a turn and we ended up falling in love with her and a few names we had picked out kind of we liked at first and then I had Willow written down on my phone as one of my either baby middle names at some point, um, which is just funny because it is, could be Will. Willow kind of stands for um, William, who was my grandfather that passed away, but we decided to make it a girl's name and do Willow for the puppy. So that's how we kind of come up with the name and we both just really liked it and then we saw her and it just fit perfectly so that is how we came up with the name so today we went to the store and got a few things including this bed i actually ordered some things on the line for her but they're not coming until probably next week and we just needed a few things to be ready so i'm going to share with you guys what i got okay first thing um we we're looking for dog bowls um we for a great dane since they grow so quickly and they eat a lot the one thing i had to look for was a slow feeder bowl this is basically just so that she doesn't chow down her food in one second and that turns into a lot of health problems. So I got one of those, even though it's not the cutest thing, but did what I have to do. Um, for bowls. So then we ended up getting a water bowl and I just kind of got a basic one that I found there. Um, I have my eye on a few others eventually down the road, but this was kind of just what we needed for now because we're getting her in two days and we really didn't have anything prepared in terms of like items that we needed. So these will be the two bowls that we use. This is just for water and this is the slow feeder for food. Um, we are gonna get risers as she grows. Since Great Danes are so big, it's not good for them to kind of be like slouching down as I'm reading. I've been reading, just slouching down while they eat. Um, I've been reading a Great Dane book since probably for like two months now. Um, I'm about halfway through, I need to finish, but I got like the gist of it down for at least while she's a puppy. Um, so I did learn and do my research on Great Dane breeds specifically because I just want to be like super prepared for this because I know that it's going to be a lot of work. It's like having a baby, but not quite. 
so I just wanted to be prepared. So I was reading a book and I can link that book in case any of you guys wanna know what it is or interested in ever buying a green tea. Ended up getting some pet shampoo. This is just oatmeal shampoo sensitive for dogs and cats. She's gonna get a good bath when she comes in here and trust me in this house, she's not gonna have dirty paws um, because I just don't want her to. So shampoo, she's gonna be taking baths, showers, whatever it is, as much as I can. I would like to keep her clean, but also make sure that like, it's not too much for her because I know dogs don't shower like humans. I ended up getting a, a Nyla bone for her just so she would have a toy right away that she could play with um, because I know we still have to work and we have to keep her occupied at some point during the day. Also, my two dogs grew up that I grew up with were eating these and they love these and they're, she's still a puppy obviously for a little while so this will do until she gets huge. Poop bags. I got this food. This is what my mom always uses to feed the dogs. It is just origin. It's basically, um, it's a kibble. So what I'm doing with her, and this is kind of like a controversial topic, so bear with me. Um, I am planning to feed her a, ha a little bit of organic kibble, which is basically just clear ingredients that are dried. And then I'm also gonna keep, give her salmon or chicken um, wet food. And then sometimes add in like pumpkin or even vegetables sometimes that I might cook or I might cook chicken for her. Um, I truly believe that the dog, our dog should kind of eat how we eat, organically healthy and all of that. But I also understand that with a big dog comes an expensive food bill. So I, that is the reason that I did get kibble for her. And then I'm gonna feed her partially that. Um, that is kind of how we grew up raising our other dogs that my mom has. So I was excited to kind of follow her path throughout like the healthy eating for our dogs. And the last thing that I got are just some dog treats. So these are Power Bites grain-free, gluten-free ingredients. Um, this is real salmon recipe. So I will not be eating these. Hopefully she enjoys these. Okay, that is it for now. It's, this thing is basically a playpen for her so that we don't have any furniture still. We're probably not going to until at least next week for some things. So we're probably just gonna take out an old rug that we have and put that around here so she has some room to run, but without like sliding so her hips don't, you know, turn into a mess. So we're picking her up on Friday and I'm gonna bring you guys along to pick her up and kind of take you through like the first few days of having her. And that will be when this vlog goes live after that. So you guys will probably already see on Instagram that we have her, but uh, I just wanted to do some more explaining about her and yeah. I never really explained why we decided to get her. Um, at the time when we were living at the beach, we didn't know that we'd be moving to Philly and we kind of saw uh, a few puppies that we kind of fell in love with. And then we decided that we wanted to go forward with it and that we would just raise her for a little bit in the suburbs until we, before we moved to the city. And then we obviously didn't end up doing that. We ended up moving. So now we're kind of doing all this stuff at once. That's what I've been saying to you guys where I'm like, so much is happening, so much is going on at once. Um, it wasn't planned that way, but it just happened. And then we just kind of fell in love with Willow and now we're picking her up on Friday. So till Friday. Good morning, everyone. It is October 9th. Um, today is the day that we are picking up Willow and I am so excited I barely slept because I was just thinking about her the whole time. I'm already nervous for how much I love her because I feel like I just am already thinking about her so much. I'm so obsessed with her already and I'm so excited to bring her home. A little nervous, can't lie. Um, we definitely aren't like fully prepared since we literally just moved last week. Um, our home isn't fully prepared, but we're gonna make it work. So, you know, gonna go pick her up. Basically, we're gonna go. My mom has like an, um, an extra crate for her because we are because we are going to crate train her so this is a book that i've been reading i can link it it is the complete guide to great danes because i just need to know specifically more about the breed so basically we're just gonna go home to my house pick up a few things and then go get her and bring her right back here so that she can one get a bath and just get used to our place and i know she's going to be a little bit scared and nervous as any puppy would be so I just kind of want to bring her right home and give her a few days to really get to know us, know that we are now her family and her mom, and yeah, let her get used to it a little bit. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Sit up. Put it on the ground. They don't have side tables. Mm. Love you. Love you too. He's the best. What are you excited for? For getting the dog. What am I excited for? Yeah. Um, to have another 
thing to love in the house. Mm, are you going to love her? A lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of craziness. A lot of chaos. I don't know. Just a new thing for us to do together. Mm. Do you think she's pretty? She's beautiful. Mm, you like her name? Willow. I do. I picked it out. No, you didn't. <laughs> Take credit for it. Are you going to love her more than you love me? Uh-huh. Take that back. I won't. I'm not married but, to her. Yeah, we get her today. A couple hours, start the countdown. All right, guys, we have everything ready. We're about to leave to go pick her up. I don't know why I'm bringing my book. I'm just a little nervous. Um, I got a little Nyla bone for her, some treats, and two towels or a towel and a blanket just so I can make her feel as comfortable as possible. Oh, I'm so nervous. I just feel um, a little bit of guilt taking her away from like her mom and her siblings. I know that it's gonna be a great life for her and I just have like, I don't know, guys, I have a big heart. Just kidding. Not kidding, but like I just have a little bit of guilt and I want her to feel comfortable and I don't want her to be nervous because I am. Situation right now. Um, we have this old carpet from Pat's parents that they kind of said whatever happens to it is okay and we can throw it out once she's like crate trained and everything and then this is just for her to hang out in. Okay, we're about to go get her. I'm so anxious. I'm about to have like oh, responsibility over this thing that I've never had to have before. So was he. So I'm just nervous, but excited. excited. Nervous and excited. Little Willow is going to be ours. <laughs> so we'll be back when I have her in my lap. about like 15 pounds I'm assuming we have to take her to the vet to get her checked but um, when we saw her at seven weeks she was 14 pounds so I'm assuming she's heavier than that now getting in the shower. There's... What about that one? Were you excited? You don't know. But it's gonna be okay. How is that bath? Hey. He's so wet. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, shake. Get shake. She's just like shaking. She's I know. She's scared and cold. Now she's really gonna slip. There you go. I know. We gotta get her paws. She's she's yeah. super wet. Hey, come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come sit up here. Yeah. Okay, baby. We promise. <laughs> we promise. So sweet. You didn't love the bath, but first one you probably had. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're so sweet. Her face needs a good rub. <laughs> Now we can all just snuggle. Mm, now you smell so good. Let me smell your head. Oh, mm, not amazing yet. I don't think the shampoo smells good. We're just being honest. Come here. And she sleeps. You can hear her snoring.
through the night the first night with willow um she actually was really really good she wasn't bad um i did take her to pee at midnight and at 3 a.m um but not because she was crying because she was just up and i felt like she probably had to go but she didn't cry throughout the whole night which was really good um i didn't sleep at all pat didn't sleep at all so as you can see i'm about to go bring him some coffee we're sleeping in bed right now which is willow actually slept in her crate all night but in the morning i brought her in bed are you gonna drink it She doesn't know if she wants to be sleeping or awake, but she's in my spot now. <laughs> she actually slept there all night though, so don't worry. This is just temporary. <laughs> Only the mornings after she slept the whole night in the crate. That's the new rule. Drink your coffee. Okay, so I'm so excited that you guys finally know about Willow. Um, I just wanted to kind of share picking her up, that process, um, getting a Great Dane because I know this started, oh god, Willow, okay. I know that this started a while ago, so I'm going to end the vlog here. We have an appointment with her for her first vet appointment with us um, and next week, and I might kind of do like another vlog then and just like how she's growing and you guys will see on Instagram what you probably already did when this is up, so family of three now and we are so excited to have her she's literally eating the rug right now so this is going to be interesting oh God. willow but that is it for now um see you guys in the next vlog